So a number of you have been asking me how to install a WordPress blog on a subdomain of your site if you are using WordPress with Shopify. And that's what we're going to go over today in today's tutorial. All right. And so just to give you guys a little bit of background, there is a dilemma with Shopify that all Shopify users face. And it's mainly due to the fact that Shopify's blogging platform is very limited. It's not very good. Uh, if all you want to do is write a couple posts here and there, then Shopify's platform is okay. But if you want to do a full blown blog, then you have to be on WordPress. And the problem is, is that you can only install WordPress on a subdomain. And in Google land, blogs on a subdomain are treated as a completely different website in the eyes of Google. And as a result, when you build a blog on a subdomain, it actually does not end up building domain strength for your main domain. And a common question I always get asked is, should I just stick with Shopify's blogging platform or should I go with WordPress on a subdomain, which is subpar for SEO? And my answer is always use WordPress on a subdomain because WordPress is infinitely more powerful than Shopify, infinitely more flexible. There's thousands of free plugins to get to do whatever you want. Uh, managing all your content and creating pages is infinitely easier with WordPress. And most important, WordPress is easy to migrate. If you end up putting all of your content on Shopify and ultimately you want to move outside of Shopify, then it's very difficult to do. Whereas with WordPress, you can move it to any web host that you want and all of that content that you've worked so hard to create can go with you wherever you want it to go. All right, so the remaining part of this tutorial is going to teach you how to install a blog using Bluehost on a subdomain with Shopify. All right, so the first step is to log into your Bluehost backend. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to go under domains and you want to create a subdomain. So I'm going to add a subdomain to myblogexample.com. And I'm just going to call it blog.myblogexample.com. I know this is kind of redundant since we're installing a, two blogs on the same domain, but this one is going to go under blog.myblogexample.com instead of just myblogexample.com. So I'm going to hit create. All right, so now I have a domain over at blog.myblogexample.com, but there's not a website on there yet. All right, so the next step naturally is to install WordPress on that site. And the way you do that is you click on My Sites, click on Create Site, and I'm just gonna call this subdomain blog, blog.myblogexample.com. And I'm going to click next and it's going to ask me which domain I want to install it on. And I'm going to select blog.myblogexample.com. And I'm going to uncheck all this stuff as usual. And once again, this is just an example. So I'm just going to click next. And now Bluehost is installing WordPress on blog.myblogexample.com. All right. So it'll give you a username and it'll sign you a password. And I'm just going to jot this down real quick and it should be good to go. Let me just verify that it's been installed. So at this point, you actually have to wait maybe five or 10 minutes for the site to get set up. But once it's set up, you should be able to go over to blog.myblogexample.com, hit refresh, and your new WordPress site has been installed. All right. Now the next step is to point your domain over to this blog just for blog.myblogexample.com, whereas the other part goes to your Shopify store. Now the rest of these instructions kind of depends on which registrar you're using. I'm using GoDaddy, so I'm just gonna use GoDaddy as a demonstration vehicle. Now the first thing that you need to figure out is you need to figure out what IP address the Bluehost servers are currently using. And the way you do that is you go under DNS Zone Editor, and you just jot down this IP address here. So once again, this is the IP address of the Bluehost server that you're going to point blog.myexample.com to. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of cut and paste this into a separate file here so I have it handy. And then I'm gonna log into GoDaddy, which is where I have all of my domains. All right, and so uh, log into GoDaddy if you're using GoDaddy. Now the terminology I'm using here is gonna be the same across all domain registrars. But in terms of actual demonstration purposes, I'm going to use GoDaddy because that is what I currently have. All right, so I'm going to go under all domains and I'm just going to kind of demonstrate this on one of the domains that I'm not really using right now, which is seriously handsome. Incidentally, that is a domain I registered for my son, but I'm not doing anything with it just yet. But you want to go under manage DNS. 
And here is where you're going to add a new record. All right? And so this at record is where your Shopify store is going to reside. And this is the IP address that Shopify will give you. And then you need to create a new A record. And the way you do that is you click add. And what you want to do is you want to add another A record here with the name blog, because that's going to be blog.myblogexample.com. And then you want to cut and paste this IP address here, which is from Bluehost, over to your A record here. All right, so once again, the A, you want to create an A record, the name is blog, and then the IP address from Bluehost that points to the Bluehost servers. And then at that point, you should be good to go. At that point, when someone types in blog.myblogexample.com, it should go over to your blog, but when they go to myblogexample.com, they should be taken over to your Shopify store. Now, the instructions are slightly different if you're using Bluehost as your registrar instead of GoDaddy. Now, I know a number of you in the class, you are on Bluehost, and Bluehost gives you a free domain upon signup, which basically means that your domain is hosted by Bluehost. So if you want to add your free Bluehost blog over to Shopify, whereas Bluehost is your registrar, what you want to do is you want to go under Domains, and you want to go under DNS Zone Editor. And what you want to do is you want to just change this A record here to whatever address Shopify gives you. All right, so once again, you want to click on this Settings button, Edit this address to the address that Shopify is telling you to point to Shopify servers right here. And at that point, your main domain should point to Shopify, whereas your blog.myexample.com should point to your WordPress blog. All right, so I hope I didn't confuse you. Two sets of instructions depending on where your domain is hosted. If your domain is hosted at a different place outside of Bluehost, you need to go to that registrar and add an A record for both Shopify and your blog. But if you're hosting your blog and your domain on Bluehost, you only need to perform this one step, which is to change this at record to point to your Shopify store. All right, and so that is basically how you install a Shopify store with a WordPress blog hosted on Bluehost.